talk about the right that we have the right to carry to protect ourselves that um, you know it's about us ourselves regulating um, our firearms and not the government but yet we sit and wait to ask for our permission we uh, ask for permission from the government from the state uh, from local officials to be able to do something that we're always talking about that we have the right to do and that we shouldn't have to ask for permission. And it got me thinking that, well, at the end of the day, the only ones who are, or the majority of the ones who are doing that are your criminals and your gang members, you know? And yeah, they're, they may be, you know, they are or maybe, some may be doing it for other reasons, but they're doing it for the wrong reasons to commit crimes and so forth like that. But they're also doing it to protect themselves. So, you know, they don't go and apply for a license. They don't go and ask um, their, the government for permission to do it. They just simply do it. So, I guess in a way, why, why are we ensuring that we are making sure we are asking for permission when they don't care about it. I mean, if you think about it, take a city like Los Angeles, for instance, if you had 500,000 people who said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and carry it, and that's what I'm going to do, because the state won't allow me to carry and protect myself. The state doesn't protect me. Uh, I am the only one that has to protect myself and my family, but it, look at it from an aspect of, it's about numbers. I mean, if you had 500,000 people who woke up and decided, you know what, I'm going to start caring, then I'm not going to ask for permission. And they're doing it for the right reasons. They're not doing it to commit crimes. They're not doing it to uh, do anything wrong. They're simply doing it to ensure that they are safe. I mean, are they... Is everybody going to suddenly, you know, are 500,000 people going to suddenly get arrested? No. And, I mean, first off, they don't have the capacity to take all of us on. If we all, if millions and millions, tens of millions of people, if we all said, you know what, we're not asking for permission anymore, we are going to carry, they can't do anything about it. They really can't. What are they going to do, try and arrest millions of people every day? And even if they did, you know, were to arrest all of a sudden, say, we're just throw a number out there, say they arrested 20,000 people. First off, there's no way they could process everybody. And the court systems as they are, are completely overwhelmed as it is. So, I mean, what are you going to be looking at? A court date of, you know, 20 years from the day you got arrested to finally, you know, take go about your case so that you can, you know, go ahead and fight it, which I would, do. that's what I would do. I would fight it. There's plenty of examples that I could use on why I've done what I've done. But you got to think about that because if we all truly stood up, and I mean truly stood up, you know, we're not doing anything wrong, we're not um, inciting violence or creating anything, we are simply putting a tool on ourselves to be able to protect ourselves because first off, we have the right to, and second off, the state doesn't care about us, they're not protecting us, but really, how would they stop that? How would they try and prevent that from happening? They couldn't. And they couldn't arrest everybody. They can't even try and process everybody through the system because there's just no way. There's no way on earth they would be able to try and process everybody. We would overwhelm the system. As it is, they want to close down jails and prisons and stuff. So, I mean, essentially, you would probably be looking at... If enough people did it, you'd be looking at the same thing that they do to criminals. A slap on the wrist, here you go, here's a day, we'll see you then. But that's the way sometimes I think we have to think about things, is that, you know, criminals get away with it, so why can't the law-abiding citizen get away with it? And I'm not saying to do anything wrong, because that's not what we would be doing. But it's like, they go ahead, they don't ask for permission to carry, they carry to protect themselves, you know, why are we sitting here with our, I guess, sitting on our behind, you know, playing with our thumbs and waiting for permission to protect ourselves, to be able to carry something that we 
you have the right to carry. It's ridiculous. So it would be an interesting thing if everybody truly stood up and went, nope, not going to do that, and we just uh, started all carrying. I mean, <laughs> and another thing to that too is if you were to encounter a police officer in that, here is where I believe you can separate the tyrannical uh, law enforcement from the untyrannical. And that is, is that they would easily be able to determine if you're carrying it for the right reason and if you're a good person or not. And if they still proceed to go ahead and arrest you for that, then that's a tyrannical law enforcement because they should be there to understand why you're doing it to respect why you're doing it, to understand that you have the right to do it, and to not enforce ridiculous, unlawful laws against a law of citizen. So that's my thought on that. I wanted to make that video, but in the end, remember that we honestly do have the numbers. The only problem is, is that majority of us just like to talk but if we truly wanted to come together to make a stand we could do that and they couldn't do anything about it thank you everybody stopping by and checking out the video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you guys have comments or questions please feel free to leave them you guys have a good afternoon